In this video, I'll explain several common PowerShell commands. Now, PowerShell commands or commandlets use a verb noun structure, and that verb noun structure is quite common and quite consistent throughout the entire set of PowerShell commandlet names. And I'm going to show you a few of the common ones, the ones that you'll be using very quickly when you start working with PowerShell. And it's important to note that there are long names and short names for PowerShell commandlet names. So you have your long name, like get location, and you have a short version, which usually uses the first letter of each of the verb and the noun. So get location would be GL. So let's take a look. So here's get location. It's always separated by a dash. And that shows us the current path. But if I use GL, it has the same effect. So that's great because you can really get around quickly in PowerShell by understanding that relationship of how the short names work. Now, let's go ahead and change our, our folder or our directory. So set dash location. Let's see, backslash new. And that puts us inside that directory. Now, I could have used SL. So just keep in mind that that rule applies to that command as well. Now, at this point, what I want to do is list the contents of the directory. And so let's go ahead and just list it, the ls command. And you can see there's a text file in there, just one file. Now, what I'd like to do is move that item. So you use move-item or just mi and text1.txt to c. Now, if I list the contents again, you can see that the folder is now empty. So if you wanted to create a new item, you use new-item or just ni, and I'll call this one uh, text2.txt. And there you can see it created the file, and it automatically shows us the contents of the directory as well. So we can see that it's been created. Now, finally, I want to show you remove item. And again, we can just use ri. And if I list the contents of the directory, you can see it's empty once again. So we've deleted that item. Now, again, remember that there are aliases that you can use that are more familiar to you, such as the DOS type aliases for making directories, creating files, deleting files, DEL, and so on. But that's just a, an actual example of the real, true PowerShell commandlets. And it's a great thing to be able to understand that you can use the uh, first couple of letters or the first letter of the verb and noun combination to use a short version of those commands.